Hey guys and welcome to the FIFA 17 Barcelona play ratings predictions from me. Today we'll be starting my FIFA 17 play rating predictions. We will be starting with Barcelona and you can see that I will be predicting 5 players from the Barcelona team in today's video. All predictions are my opinion, so if you have your own opinion and say you don't agree with my ratings, drop it down in the comment section down below. I really want to see your guys, uh, your opinions for play ratings for these Barcelona players. Make sure you also drop a like on this video and make sure you also subscribe. But without further ado, let's jump into the first player. We're going to be starting off with a bang because we will be taking a look at, in my opinion, Barcelona's best player from last season. That man was Luis Suarez. Suarez had an unbelievable season, probably his best season at Barcelona yet. Uh, I do have a few statistics to let you guys know. So Luis Suarez last season had 35 games in the La Liga, picking up 40 goals in those 35 games and also picking up 16 assists, which is unbelievable. Luis Suarez last season, in my opinion, was the best striker in the world. Obviously, Messi's out on the right wing, Ronaldo's out on the left wing, but Me Suarez was the best striker last season in the world. 35 goals in uh, 35 games, 40 goals is insane. Also, altogether throughout the season, he picked up in 37 appearances in all competitions, he picked up 45 goals in those 37 appearances, which is insane. And Luis Suarez had a crazy season, and that is why I have given him a few upgrades on his FIFA 17 card. FIFA 16 Ultimate Team, he's a 90 overall. I've bumped him, bumped him up to a 91 overall to try and get into the 90s with Messi and Ronaldo. Ronaldo. really feel like Suarez does deserve a 91 rated card to join in with Messi and Ronaldo. I've given him a plus one to his pace to an 83 rating in his pace. I've given him a plus three in his shooting. I already give, gave you guys the statistics. This man had an unbelievable season. When he takes a shot, it most likely will be going in 90 times out of 10. I've brought his shooting up to 91 with the range you can say with the players like Ronaldo and Messi. Their shooting is in the 90s and I really feel like Luis Suarez should be with those players. Uh, passing I've kept that the same to a 79. 89 is dribbling plus that by one. Taken down one statistic in his defending to 41 and plus two to his physical stats to make him an 81 in the physical department. 91 overall, Luis Suarez, FIFA 17. I'm telling you guys right now, this man is going to get a plus one because he had an unbelievable season during the 2015 slash 2016 season. The next player we're going to be taking a look at is Samuel Umtiti, a player who has just recently signed for Barcelona about a week ago. He's now at Barcelona from Lyon. This man was playing in the French League, in the League 1, and now he has signed for Barcelona and he will be playing in the Spanish League. This is a massive signing for Barcelona. I really feel like Umtiti is going to be a fantastic signing for Barcelona and he's going to fit the Barcelona team so well. And I, like I said, I really feel like Umtiti is going to be, he's been really under the radar when he does come to transfers this transfer window but I really feel like Umtiti is going to be a fantastic signing for Barcelona obviously playing for Lyon he's 22 years of age from Lyon in 30 appearances in the league and so he almost played every game for P uh, for Lyon sorry almost playing every game in their French divisions. But something that did really stand out to me was his 88% pass accuracy. And 88% pass accuracy is insane for a centre-back. That's the likes of Iniesta, Xavi. Those sort of players get 88% in their pass accuracy. And Umtiti does have an 88% pass accuracy during the league on season, during last season. Also, Umtiti did come close to winning the Euro 2016 just with France, obviously losing in the final to Portugal. But with Umtiti's stats, I've given him a massive upgrade when he does come to FIFA 17. So you can see in FIFA 16, he was a 79 overall. I've bumped him up by three overalls to an 82, and I really feel like EA are going to give Umtiti an 82 overall centre-back card at Barcelona. Obviously, he's now playing for Barcelona, and in my opinion, EA Sports do really bump up the overalls if, say, a player is playing, say, for Barcelona or Real Madrid. So an 82 overall, I reckon, for Umtiti, plus three to his pace to a 77 pace. Uh, plus two to his shooting because obviously he doesn't really do doesn't really go on the attack too much only a plus two plus four to his passing I already mentioned his passing plus five in dribbling to 75 dribbling plus two to his already good defending stats 82 defending and plus three to his physical to make him also 82 physical 82 overall umtiti 
I can really see that happening. And Um Titi, fantastic signing for Barcelona. And I really feel like that card right there would be a great overpowered card in FIFA 17. Next up is Andres Iniesta, the Spanish legend, the Barcelona legend. In FIFA 17, I really feel like he may get a slight decrease after a disappointing season in Iniesta last season. He had a bit of a disappointing season for Barcelona. In 25 appearances in the La Liga, he only picked up one goal and picking up three assists. So not the best season from Iniesta. You can say, you know, he didn't have a good season stats-wise, but really in the build-up play to the goals for Barcelona, obviously Iniesta has a major major part. He also has an 88% pass accuracy, uh, just like Umtiti, which is quite insane to think of that. So like I did say, Iniesta, not the best of seasons. I feel like EA may, may just give him the 88 overall, keep him at an 88 overall, same as FIFA 16. Minus three in his pace, he is getting there with age. He is, he is getting quite old. And when players do get quite old, EA are just going to down the decline them when he does come to pace. I've left his shooting at 72 overall, plus one to his passing, because obviously he can still pass the ball around, ATA passing, kept his dribbling at 90, plus one to his defending, playing a bit more defensive Iniesta when he is getting to his later ages of his career to 60 defending, and I kept his physical at 63. Overall, Iniesta, slight decrease, but I really feel like he'll still be a strong player in FIFA 17. Next up is Neymar. The Brazilian had a pretty good season for Barcelona last season, and I really feel like in FIFA 17, he will keep his 90 overall card. Last season, Neymar in the Liga BBVA did have 34 appearances, scoring 24 goals and picking up 12 assists. Very good season for Neymar, but I think I'm pretty sure that not last season, the season before that, Neymar had a better uh, season. I could have seen him become a 91 overall card, but I've kept him at a 90 overall in FIFA 17, keeping him the same as FIFA 16. I've kept his pace at the same with a 90 pace. Don't really feel like EA going to bump it up to 91 or a 92. Plus, due to his shooting to 85 shooting, this man, when he does have a shot on goal, it like I did say about Luis Suarez, Suarez about 9 out of 10 times, I'll say Neymar 8 out of 10 times, uh, his shots will go into the back of the net, plus 1 to his passing, he has uh, slowly built up his passing game in my opinion, as he is at Barcelona, obviously playing that tiki taka football, 76 passing, kept his dribbling at 93 and also kept his defending at 30 overall stat, and plus 5 to his physical, I feel like Neymar is getting stronger on the ball, off the ball, to make him a 63 physical card in FIFA. 17. Overall, great card for Neymar. It's pretty much similar to his FIFA 16 card with a up, with a few upgrades, obviously with his shooting and passing, but a massive upgrade in his physical department. And let's actually go into the final player, and you guys already know who it is, it's Lionel Messi. Just need to let you guys know that I've actually made a mistake with Messi's graphic. You can see that he is actually a striker here on screen. He's actually obviously a right winger. That is my bad, guys. So just to let you all know that I know that I made a mistake while actually doing the graphics for this video. So Messi in FIFA 16, Messi in FIFA 17. I really feel like EA are gonna give him a few upgrades here and there, but keep him at a 94 overall. There is no way Messi is gonna go up to a 95. I could also see EA maybe decrease him to 93, because obviously Messi has been the cover star throughout a few years, and maybe being the cover star for FIFA 16, for FIFA 15, uh, Messi got a 94 rated, because obviously he was the cover athlete. He was representing the game, but maybe because he's now not on the cover for FIFA 17. He could get a decrease, but I really feel like he's going to keep uh, EA going to keep him at a 94 overall. Last season in the La Liga, in 31 appearances, Messi picked up 26 goals, not just 26 goals, but he picked up 16 assists, obviously helping out the goals, helping out the likes of Suarez, who obviously had an incredible goal to game record last season. So Messi, I've kept him at a 94 overall, obviously a right winger, not a striker, that is my bad. I've kept his pace at a 92, plus one to his shooting to an 89, plus two in his passing to 88 passing, plus one to his dribbling to 96, which is insane, plus four in his defending to make him now a 28 defensive stat than he was in FIFA 16. Uh, he was a 24 defensive stat and plus two to his physical getting stronger on the ball. But that is how we're going to end off the FIFA 17 play predictions for Barcelona. What team do you want me to do next? Drop it down in the comment section down below. Like I already said, like this video, subscribe. If you have any opinion that is different to mine, let me know. Contact me 
in the comment section. Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat are the best ways to actually contact me, and we can talk about this. And yeah, that's it from me, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope you did enjoy it. I will be doing more of these, and it is something different from myself, and I'll see you all on my next video.